and welcome to UMETSAT. We are in the process of upgrading our technology to provide new ways of looking at Europe, Africa, and the wider area from space. Today, I'm gonna to introduce you to the METISAT third generation imager satellite, and we're gonna see what it can do. Let's go and meet the satellite. So this is the three-quarter scale model of the METISAT third generation imager satellite. This is the satellite that from orbit will be sending us images of the Earth every 10 minutes. These are the images we're going to see on our TV news and on the weather forecasts. Now we've got 16 different channels that come from the flexible combined imager. That gives us information about a whole range of environmental phenomena. We're gonna get information about the surfaces, about the ocean, about the land, about the composition of the atmosphere, as well as information about the clouds. We're also gonna be able to have a look at a much finer scale at wildfires and forest fires. There's a couple of channels on that instrument that really help us to understand the temperature of a burning area. And we can also very clearly see the smoke during the day as it comes off. We can also see the temperature of the land surface and we can monitor the quality or the health of vegetation. This helps us in monitoring the agricultural growing season and also in monitoring drought and longer term uh, phenomena. The other instrument on board this satellite is the lightning imager. Now this one is new for Europe. With this we're going to monitor lightning as it happens all across that disk and it's going to help us to see how the storms are evolving. For example, when you have very intense thunderstorms, as they develop, you see increases and changes in the lightning signal. And what that's going to do is give operational meteorologists, weather forecasters, more information to feed into their process for understanding the storms so they can improve their warnings. This is a real step change in what we're able to provide the weather forecasters and environmental scientists across Europe. And I'm really looking forward to, to looking at this data and, and working with this data as it comes online. And it's just going to be a real boost for Europe's ability to monitor weather and climate from space. <laughs>